What's up you guys? Thanks for tuning in to Trash Panda Garage. Today I'm talking about the overhaul on the solar system on our 2022 Chevy Colorado that includes the installation of this. The just released Cascadia 4x4 VSS System 2.0 MPPT Solar Charge Controller. The Cascadia 4x4 VSS or Vehicle Solar System Charge Controller is a very simple plug and play device that connects to both your solar panel as well as your main starter battery. It essentially acts as a trickle charger, ensuring that your starter battery isn't overcharged by the solar panel input. We've been running the original VSS 1.0 unit for at least a year and a half now without any issues. It seems very durable and very rugged. We've been happy with it. Cascadia has beefed up the features on the new VSS 2.0. They've used heavier gauge wiring with SAE connectors for both the accessory outline as well as the connection to the battery. And perhaps the biggest upgrade of all, the new 2.0 unit is Bluetooth compatible and Cascadia has released an app that you can download to use to monitor the status of your battery as well as the status of the solar panel that you have connected to the system. You can even use the app as I understand it to set a voltage cutoff threshold for any accessory you have plugged into the accessory line. Both the original unit and the new 2.0 charge controller mount to the surface of your choice with the included 3M VHB tape. I will say the one thing I couldn't find on Cascadia's website before I placed the order was the dimensions of the new unit, especially as they compared to the older unit. You can see here that the new unit is bigger, but honestly that's to be expected given some of the upgrades and added features. The increased size of the new unit does pose a problem that I'll need to find a new mounting location inside the engine bay, but I think I've got a solution for that. In addition to being ruggedized and having a IP67 waterproof rating, the new VSS 2.0 also has a max input of 200 watts, which means I'm contemplating whether or not to add a second Renogy 100 watt solar panel to the top of the GFC in addition to the first one I already picked up. Uh, let's wait and see how that one plays out. That's it for today's brief overview of the Cascadia 4x4 VSS 2.0 charge controller. As always, we appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch our videos. And until the next time, get out there, build something.